Oh, do 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 do. Get it ready. This week's show is sponsored by PrintByMagic.com. We print directly to your bicycle playing cards. Hello and welcome to the Magic World Review Show. I'm James Anthony and this pink guy is... Daniel Meadows. Yes, as you can tell. Thank you for all your votes. The pink, horrible pink, has won. And it is very flattering, as you can tell. We need to make sure that these guys at home don't think we're a certain way inclined, you know? How are we going to get around that? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> well, it's great to be back. We're going to be reviewing three products this week for you. And the first product will be, uh, I'll go through all three of them. We've got Tremble, we've got Gonzo, and we've got Jamey's Mind, his incredible four DVD set. We'll tell you whether it's worth buying or not. And also, we'll be telling you, or uh, working out whether they go on the workers' wall as we go through the products. Indeed. Rather than waiting till the end and wasting your time and our time. So, how's that? New new format, works well. Yes. Okay, so moving on to it. We've got four minutes per product. We're going to make this even snappier than we've ever done in our lives before. You, you say this every time and it's never... never. I've, got the, I've got the timer here, though. I've got the timer. I think on track record, my segments are normally quite informative <laughs> and, and snappy and yours is a bit rambly, but there we go. Okay, right. So we'll do it about Tremble. Tremble. Okay, I'm going to hide the little card then before we do this. We've got Tremble. Um, for this review here, we have it by the Magician Anonymous which um, you told me, you, you watched the DVD before me, didn't you? Yes. Then I watched it, and uh, I will agree with you, the funniest part of this is when he, uh, it's his voice, and how he introduces all the, the items on the table. Over. There's a voiceover, and the, uh, it's like a B-grade uh, movie sort of horror film <laughs> thing, and I've never heard anyone as quite as excited as the voiceover artist when he says the word scotch tape. Yes. It's along the lines of uh, scotch tape. Scotch tape. Rubber cement. It's brilliant, but yes, I, I thought it was, it was quite good. Um, it was it was different. I know some people are like it's not going to be to their taste. They're not going to like yep. it. The whole DVD only lasts eleven minutes. So yeah, was I was a, quite. I was quite. In a way, it's quite. Sometimes it's nice to have a really short DVD. If yeah. you don't need it to be longer, don't yeah. waste my time. And I'm as long as I can pick it up quickly, uh, get going with the effect. Fine. They probably could have showed a few more ideas yeah. to people, you know, people who need to be more creative. So on that note, on the trailer, you're yep. probably going to see four different things. Yep. Only one of those is taught. Now, I don't think some of them are beyond the stretch of the imagination, so how to turn a three into an eight that's shown on the trailer. Yep. Once you know the gimmick, you'll work that out. But how to do it hands-free that they yep. show a couple of times on the, um, the trailer, I'm not convinced you'll be able to do it as yep. cleanly as them. Yeah. So that that is a consideration, but the teaching of what they do teach was quite good. So yeah. I, I liked, liked that bit. It does require a bit of DIY as well, not yes. much, but basic. So, so what do you get in the the DVD? You get the two of the gimmick already made up for you. Yeah. And material. One to, gimmick's made slightly different than the other one. Yeah. Um, more material to make more. Yeah. And they run through how to make the gimmick. Yeah. And it is pretty easy to make. I mean, yeah. I actually, when I first got my gimmick, I realised that it didn't actually work properly. I can't go into too many details. I had to actually re-engineer it myself from scratch so maybe that's just i think i got the unlucky one there but it was easily fixable got it working great uh shall we show it then go on here we go was your card was it a a queen was it a diamond yay Woo! no yeah, more there edits we go. Um, so <laughs> I apologise for cutting out there. If you're yeah. familiar with David Stone on his lecture, um, did uh, an effect called Spot. I think that's by yep. Sandy, French magician. Um, uses a similar sort of thing, but that was like the traffic lights one. So search for that one. But it's pretty much exactly the same. When I saw that, I thought, how can you bring out the same trick? Uh, we saw it, and it was a red, a yellow dot that jumped onto a playing card. And to be honest, a yellow dot looks really good. I think so, Damien O'Brien yep. on Killer Magic also had something called Sign Off or something yep. similar to that, which was the signature um, that jumps and it appears on a different card yep. um, so that they're using similar gimmicks um, the gimmick you're getting I don't know if I would use it yep um, as I said to you before I think I would potentially have this in my case um, as an extra reveal a little bit like um, uh, wiregrams or something else a way of producing their card I would have that there maybe as a little backup. I might try it, but it is a very quick ch -ch done for me. I wouldn't really go into and that much. Uh, it only really works if you say, stay over there while I yep. do something. I, this this range. Yeah. Yeah. This distance yeah. now is fine. It's Even on the trailer, it. though, you could see certain things. I was like, ah! I, th I think you knew what you were looking for when you see the trailer. I think so. Um, but I that think... was, it was, the cameras were very close to it. Yeah. So, personally, um, yeah, you wouldn't want to be doing this unless you're at least a metre and a half away from your spectator. 
or in very very low light. I don't think nightclubs. I don't think how to get into it is particularly easy either. No. I, I think, think there's a sort of get ready. You can hand it out clean. There is a way of doing that. Um, so it could be examined. Don't mess around with it again. You got so you got slap wrist last time. I didn't get a slap wrist. Slap yeah, wrist. And apparently I was messing around with a card last time. and So I'm not going to mess around with any of that. No, let's no, move on. So down. either way, right, let's give this rating out of 10. Uh, yeah. we've got, we know we've got a short DVD. Yeah. We've got a gimmick that is relatively easy to make. You will have it made in no times, but you get two with it. Mm-hmm. Um, teaching could be a little bit better. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give this uh, a six. No, I'm even thinking five and a half, to be honest. Um, I was coming somewhere in there. I think for a YouTube promo, I think it's great. Yep. I don't see many actual performers uh, using yeah. it if you've got to use it live. So video, YouTube magic, yep. fine. Yep. To do a different predictions and words or whatever, great. The visual but... on it is great when it starts um, yeah. doing its tremble. Yeah. Um, I think it's, it's very good. I, would, I was but, quite impressed. Right, I'm going to give it, uh, yeah, I'm going to go as low as five and a half, I'm afraid. Boom. Right, you'll be on that. Five and a half. That's great. Does it go on the worker's wall? Let's make this nice and quick. Oh no, that's gone. Bye bye. Let's move on. So, hide that. Yep, the gimmick has gone. So, next I is imagine. Gonzo by. Here we have Gonzo by Joseph LaQuest. Hey, well done. Did I say that right? Yeah. 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 Okay. This has been a hot topic for a long time. They're totally sold out in all the magic shops right now. Uh, we've got a couple left. That's it. Um, but if you want one, make sure you just go to the link here. You can pre-order it and it will be available to you if you want. I was say, I didn't think no, I pre-order it for no, no. when they come back in stock again. Or find somewhere that does it. Simple as that. Yeah. So what you're getting, you're getting your DVD and you're getting your <clears throat> Gonzo pouch yeah. with the gimmick and loads of extras. I was actually Which... quite impressed <laughs> inside there. It, it's nice that you get um, in a nice carry case. I, I did like that touch. Yeah, but a lot uh, of people would say, uh, why spend so much money on a carry case when you would rather have certain other additions which could be more useful i think when you're but, paying a certain amount you want it to come in a, a yeah certain, i think it's just a nice touch so i, I yeah. like that i also like how they bundled quite a few accessories in there so you're getting little different bits that yep. you need like there was the lubor's lens yeah, or something yeah. you see there there's quite a few different bits and bobs in there and the the teaching on the how to use it yep. very very good um gimmick itself gimmick itself um when I first saw it, I thought, hey, this is actually quite well made. Um, a little bit worried about certain areas of it, mm. but um, about the flimsiness, I thought maybe it's going to be too flimsy. I've had a mess around with it. It's in fact, it's lasted up to our test so far. Yeah. It has lots of custom made gimmicks for the, uh, for the working of it. So yeah. you can banish various different objects. You can switch and do all this. Yeah. So it works well in that respect. Um, it is quite um, on the comfort sort of front. It's easy to put on. It's, yeah. not a, it's not a horrendous rig that you've got to put yeah. all over yourself. Once you've done the, the one-time setup, um, it's quite easy to put yep. on and off. But like all these things, I mean, it was great. It was quite comfy, actually, for the first maybe 10 minutes. And then like anything that you wear after a while, you start getting burned. You know, it feels like it, if you're doing a paid gig, you know... You electric start. touch and all this it's something that is going to be where you're wearing all the time i'm not sure if i would want to be wearing this all the time at a professional gig i'd but rather have my hands free completely there's probably a better reason why you wouldn't be using a professional gig and the the, the thing that's all over the, the 30 page <sighs> we're not even threads, started with the angles the, the, the angle okay when you're doing it you can do this sort of motion yep. or you can look like you're cardini and be doing all this that looks good as long as it's you don't move yep. and i get this spot on however when you were showing someone Anyone else is going to see. Yep. I, th- I think it's very hard to do it effectively well, if you've got other people. We found it quite funny on one of the comments on the uh, Magic Cafe, and they were talking about it's great if you're performing for a basketball view. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> but if you're not performing to basketball, well, it's <laughs> basketball players with an aerial view. <laughs> with an aerial, aerial view. Sort of stuff, um, yeah. So at the end of the day, that is a sort of view. What you're seeing in that trailer, I swear that that trailer would not have been shot without that guy seeing that coin vanish a couple, the, the methods a, a few times because there's no way getting that angle perfect every time over and over again I'm sorry it just doesn't it's not going to be that easy it's yeah in a real world situation in a real world situation got, I would not be relying on if you've got people at tables who are looking across at you I think you're you can't you're even do it no way no way so that rules it out for me completely I'm afraid for that purpose for that so purpose so if you're yeah. a street performer who can that work that way, or yeah, if you're trying if to you're film street stuff. performer again, you're going to have people there and there. No, no, if, you, if you're just doing it for cameras, so, well, uh, not not true street. Okay, so, if it's yeah, c- controlled, contrived. Street. Again, camera stuff. Yeah. That's not where the magic is. 
It's not for that. It's, magic is to people in a real life working situation. It's not made to look cool on a camera. I'm not here to tell you what you can or can't do. Sorry, I just had a rant. Um, <laughs> if, if that's your thing, great. Yeah, um, yeah. But I don't think so. When you tend to come from the, the perspective of someone who wants to use it for that's not working, yeah. Yeah. Um, there are other hobbyists. I tend to represent the, the hobbyist or the, yeah. the, the amateur. I think you're going to compare this to whatever else is out there. So it's a type of holdout. So there are mechanical sort of holdouts that go way, way back. Mm. The, the thing that's most similar to this would be a Black Widow. Now, it mm. is something I've played around with. Um, it is quite awkward, mm. and it does make you feel like you're the central character in the Assassin's Creed, uh, mm. Creed games. Um, and it's a damn sight more expensive. It's about 160, 170 pounds, where, mm. what's this? So we're talking yeah. 68 I think that's the main thing it, that it has on its side is its price. It's not crazy expensive, yeah. but even then it is expensive to a certain degree. So for people to note, it doesn't move of its own accord. Yeah. So Black Widow, without giving too much away, you can control. Yeah. That you don't, you do something else that does it as part of your mm. gestures. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it doesn't move of its own accord. So if you're thinking you're getting a high-tech toe switch or something <laughs> else, you're not. No, you're not, no. Yeah, I mean, like I say, it's, it's nicely customised, it's nicely made. Um, I personally wouldn't use it. So let's get to the rating point of it. Because we've nearly five minutes now on this. Okay. Let's go to the rating. Uh, what would you give for this one? I, I wow. like how they've tried to do something different. Uh, I like the idea. I don't think there's going to be that many people that could use it. Mm. Again, if you can and you've got a purpose for it, great. If not, I would probably give this one a miss, unfortunately. So it's probably going in the six territory. Yep. I was going to match it to the other thing. I was going to give it five and a half. Oh, you're on a roll today, aren't you? Is that right? What should we do? Five, or, five and a half or six? I think five and a half. I don't think, it does, I don't think it's quite there. Okay. okay, five and a half for Gonzo. Um, it might be the right thing for you. The link's down below. You can get it there. How are you enjoying wearing that shirt? Even from here, it's not looking good on the camera, is it? It's, no. So when I watch this back, this is going to be horrendous. I, my eyes, my, the light's just bouncing off the shirt and my eyes are not focusing properly anymore. I'm not so much worried about the colour as the, the sort of silhouette it is causing. Because when I look, watch myself back with the, the last logo, I look huge. Yeah. And honestly, I'm not as quite as fat as it made me look last time. Cause someone even commented. I love that. that. I look like Homer That's Simpson. Hilarious. Homer Simpson, you cheeky. <laughs> bleep and bleep out the next word. Um, yeah. I'm not quite as bad as it makes me look um, in real life. But I, <laughs> I, did like look, I did look like super chunky when I watch it back. Mm. So my self esteem from doing this yeah. is like completely shot. So oh, thank man. You. Yeah, yeah. Well, just to help you out as well, you're going to get loads of men commenting after this, you know. <laughs> they, they're going to love this new look. Do -do. Right, let's move on to item number three. We have Jamay's Mind 4 DVD set, fan packed full of crazy mentalism. Eight and a half hours of tuition. Do -do -do. And look at, look at the quality of it. It's, it's uh, fantastic. Vanishing it? ink up to their usual yep. excellent standards. Um, so you know it's going to be a quality product, but as to content, yep. you've got a heck of a lot on there. Um, Beyond that. Now, now, I've watched two of the DVDs. Yeah. I've not managed to watch all of them, but as you said, I've been to the Newcastle side I, of I this. I haven't said it because we've edited that out. What? I haven't said that because you've edited uh, no, as you, uh, Yeah, but as you said before the show. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but um, yes, I, uh, what did you think so, of the whole so thing? So we saw him at Newcastle. I yep. saw him at the session, the 2015 one that's on here. I saw him lecture at Manchester. Yep. Um, I also went to his stage show when he came to Salford. So I'd seen quite a lot of his material. And I didn't know how much more I'd get from, from watching this. And I have watched all the DVDs mm. uh, end to end. And I still took loads from it. So even if you've, you've seen lots and lots of Luke's material, going over it again there's so many details that he's given you and if you think if you had eight and a half hours of Luke's time again and again and again whenever you wanted to pick up some tips yep. you'd be paying a heck of a lot if you were t it's taking on as a yeah. consultant yep. so to get that sort of insight um, is, is absolutely fantastic the quality material you know Luke you, you know that the standard that he's mm. bringing it's, it's excellent what I like particularly about him is He's got a very good economy of words. Yep. He's scripted it, but it doesn't sound canned. Yeah. So he doesn't have ums, ahs, ers, all the other filler sort of bits. Yep. It's bang. It, it, all the instructions are clear. The mm -hmm. effect is, is is very very clear. Um, it's excellent. So on here you're going to get. He's his, a big fan of scripting, isn't he? Yeah, you're going to yeah. get his full show performance. You get a lot more than just his scripting. You get his mm -hmm. philosophy on on different yep. things. Uh, especially I know, in this really well shot. 
performance of it. That's what I liked. Yeah. I mean, several several cameras editing, not just watching the actual uh, people on stage, but uh, the people in the audience. I think as well. your close up map makes an appearance. Oh yeah, it my close-up map was in it. So yeah. look out, look out for I'd say his close-up map making an appearance with Katie. Uh, Ooh, yeah. Yes. So um, what do you get? You get the full show performance. So you get to actually see it um, yep. that way. So tossed out deck, um, connected. I think used to be called his living and dead test, which yep. is is brilliant. Touching on Hoy, so much in there. Loved his mind museum. I wasn't yep, aware fantastic. of that before. All the stuff on DVD three was really good. Uh, and then on DVD four, you get a session 2011 um, lecture, session 2015. This year's yep. just gone with Blind Paul Deal and that, the Newcastle stuff, yep. and the interview with Michael Weber that he did at uh, the session. So you're getting so much on there. Yeah, um, well, you know, just fantastic. the cost of going to Mines, and now we're getting it on there in a yeah. way. It's, it's fantastic value, yeah. and just eight and a half hours. I can't believe that. Yeah, brilliant. So. You're saying even you got more out of it than what you originally thought you would well, do, Well, exactly. And, and so, don't mean that in a, any negative yeah, sense, but no, you know when sure. you're familiar with the routine, you, you think, what more am I going to pick up? Mm. But going over the things that you thought you knew, and I was going through my notes that I made at yeah. mine and the other lectures, thinking, ah, oh, right, so I was picking up more each time, and then on the DVD 3, I, I picked yeah. up quite a lot. Yeah, so that's all we need to really say about this. It's a well, well shot video, fantastic DVD, great tutorials, uh, one packed full of content, so let's give it a rating. Fancy. Simple as that. Just say buy it. That's all we say. Buy it. Um, we would give a rating straight away. I would. It's up there in the nines anyway. I'm going to say a nine actually. So what would you say? Yeah, it's got to be a nine or a ten. It's going to be one of the, the most important releases. You know what? We'll meet halfway. Nine and a half. How's that? Yeah. I think it's way up there. This one, workers' wall or not workers' wall? If because it's not really a trick, but I think it's still able to go on a workers' wall as a you're, way of. As you say, you're getting a professional's um, set. <coughs> yeah, exactly. Um, that is that's yeah proper working material. All right, so which section of the workers' wall? Workers' dream. It's a hit, or highly recommended. Uh, it, it's I'd still say it's workers' dream. Um, he, he sells shows yeah. with this material. Yeah, I've been and seen so. him do this yeah. material. Yep. Um, uh, just because he's retired it, because he's moved on to uh, to other things. I would equally agree with that. So let's whack it into the workers' dream section of Magic World. You'll be able to see it there on the workers' wall, which is right here now. Check out workers' wall. So that is fifty four ninety nine. Yep. If you were to pick up any of his books or anything else. Um, you're probably getting a lot of that stuff in here. So if you've never had any of Luke's material, this is a fantastic sort of primer yep. for it. If you have got some of it, you're still going to get loads more. Yep. Um, fantastic. Fantastic. Brilliant. That's a wrap for today. So thank you for joining us and the Magic World Reviews. Please remember that what keeps us going is the subscriptions, telling your friends, and, uh, of course, you watching our reviews. So let us know your comments on uh, what you think of it, how it's all going, any suggestions you have for the future. We will always do our utmost to include bringing it up. What Anty now has to wear. I've done my forfeit. I stepped up. Now, now let us I'm know. I'm sorry, but we're changing the uh, rules no, from this point onwards. No, no, no. We will both have to wear a Magic World shirt because somebody did say that they loved the way we both look professional in a Magic World shirt. They did, but before we do that... And, and that's if. where we're going to cut only the show. If. Only if. Right now, we are going to move away. <laughs> As for a competition winner, for last week's competition... The winner will appear in the Show Me More section right now. You can just go down there, check out the winner, and that winner will be uh, winning something, a prize from last week. So if you're the winner, you are down there, you see your name, send me a message, I will get in touch with you as well, and congratulations. And uh, we're going to skip the competition this week, and we're going to bring a super competition in next week for you. Mm -hmm. So from myself, James Anthony, and from... Daniel Meadows. In a pink shirt. Yes! Bye for now. <laughs> hey, don't go. We've got to do the outtakes. What do you mean? I don't know. You've got to sing a song. <laughs> My legs... I thought we've got the outtakes from last time. We need a bigger studio here. We're trying to, like, cram pack in here because of the size of this green Still screen. on one leg. I'm like a flamingo in this pink. <laughs> and we've got on one leg. But to make it even worse, we've got, like, chairs right behind our, our knee, the backs of our knees here. So we can't even... We can't even, like, stretch and move. I've cramped up. Oh, right. man, are I'm you all right? I'm going to put my T-shirt on there. Go and take your pink shirt off. <laughs> What the hell? <coughs> <coughs> Bye for now. Subscribe! Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe.